Hi, this is Amy from the Alti Store. I just thought I'd quickly show you the difference between several different types of grid tied inverters. Now here we've got a string inverter. Here we have a string inverter with DC optimizers. And over here we've got micro inverters. So just to give you a, a quick little overview of the, the differences, the string inverter, as it suggested, you would wire multiple panels in a string into the inverter. You can have multiple strings, each going into its own MPPT channel, so that each string of panels is independently managed. Um, the downside to this is that if one of those panels in that string does have some shading issues, it can potentially bring down the power output of that whole string. But many of them now have multiple MPPT inputs, so it would only affect that particular string, wouldn't affect the other. Um, an advantage of these is they are fairly easy to install. Um, for instance, this, this um, Fronius Primo can be installed in, in less than 15 minutes. Uh, you would just bring the multiple strings in, in conduit right into the knockouts in the bottom of the inverter. It's got an integrated DC disconnect right there, so it's very, very simple. Um, string inverters tend to be the least expensive option for inverters. The next one we have over here is a solar edge. Now they do things a little differently. They've broken out their, their DC optimizing from their uh, inverting. So what you would have is an optimizer that is installed out on the panel, uh, underneath the panel. It connects via the MC4 connectors to the solar panel and then just via MC4 connectors to the next optimizer and so on and so on. And then you would bring strings of up to 52, 50 watts down into the integrated DC disconnect that's in the bottom of the inverter. And this combination is nice because this individually manages each panel. So if you have any shading issues on any of the panels, only that particular panel will be affected. Um, you can also do individual panel level monitoring. So you can see what each panel is doing as opposed to with a string inverter where you would have just a view of the entire string, not each individual panel. But quite frankly, it's very rare that you're going to need to get down to the individual panel level of monitoring. Generally, just knowing what's going on in the string is, is quite, quite sufficient. So the next option here we have is microinverters. This is an end phase, and um, what it does is it connects to the panel itself, and then it goes by its proprietary output connector. Now this does all of the, the inverting right at the panel level. So it's DC power going in and AC power coming out. And it would connect to its proprietary cable. So you just connect it, and then you wire up to 17 of these in, in series, and it all goes right down into your AC breaker box. So this is a nice, easy way to install. Uh, has panel level monitoring, panel level inverting, so any other inverters are not going to affect this uh, particular uh, panel. And um, it's really expandable. So if you wanted to add additional panels in the future, even if they're, they don't match the characteristics of the panels you have, you can just add another inverter and another inverter and another inverter. You can just keep expanding your system as much as you want. Uh, whereas with a string inverter, you really do need to keep the same type of panels. So this, um, all three of these options have a way to do uh, NEC 2014 remote shutdown. The, um, the Fronius would have an external shutdown box that would send a signal up to the combiner box and, and shut everything down. And both the solar edge and the end phase, because of the way they work, when AC goes down, it will automatically shut down. Um, it, the inverter will actually send a signal to the DC optimizer and shut it down to, uh, to one volt. And the microinverter, because it is an inverter, when it sees the grid go down, it will automatically shut down. So they just automatically shut down with, um, with when the power goes out. So just a nice little view 
Um, the string inverters would, would usually be the least expensive option. Solar edge would be the next level up, and then the uh, microinverters tend to be a little bit more expensive option, but you do have the ease of, of installation. So uh, it, it can often save time, and in which case can be very cost effective. So there you have your three options. Thanks for watching.